When we touch the leafy greens with unwashed hands, we are potentially transferring some harmful bacteria to the surface of the leaf where they can attach to its microstructures and hide in the crevices. By the way, common leaf surface microstructures include microcolumns called trichomes and micropores called stomata. Each stomatal pore consists of a pair of bean-shaped guard cells that can open and close the pore at different environmental conditions. In guard, the stomata mainly remain closed, and you can imagine the bacteria playing around the leaf microstructures and consuming small chunks of nutrients. In light, the stomatal pores get open. Light also triggers photosynthesis inside the leaf tissue, producing sugars like glucose inside the leaf. Some sugar is also available at the leaf surface, especially around the leaf microstructures. And these delicious nutrients attract the bacteria. Uh? <laughs> At the leaf surface, bacteria consume the nutrients available around the microstructure. However, higher concentration of nutrients inside the mesophyll tissue is more attractive for bacteria, causing them to gather around the stomatal pores. <laughs> As more bacteria gather around the stomatal pore, they manage to enter it to enjoy the rich nutritional sources inside the leaf tissue and to be away from the harsh environmental conditions such as light exposure at the leaf surface. So, how do the bacteria actually infiltrate the leaf? Let's take a look at more details inside the leaf cross section, focusing on cytoplasm, plasma membrane, cell wall, and intercellular water. Inside the cytoplasm, chloroplasts are plants' machinery to run photosynthesis. On the plasma membrane, there exist special transporters called sweets that are responsible for exporting the synthesized sugar across plasma membrane. Light exposure triggers chloroplasts to make sugar out of carbon dioxide diffused into the cytoplasm. The sugar then diffuses out of the plant cell into the intercellular water. Bacteria can sense the sugar concentration gradients inside the leaf and actively swim within the intercellular water films toward higher concentrations of sugar and consume it. This directed movement is called chemotaxis. Once reaching inside the mesophyll, bacteria can access plenty of nutrients to consume away from the harsh outside environment. Therefore, they can double and grow their population inside the leaf tissue. Eating such a contaminated leaf can simply cause health problems for us because the bacteria can mess up the GI tract environment. If you happen to touch your leafy greens with dirty hands, don't forget to wash them right away to keep the germs out of the leaf surface. This avoids the over time light driven infiltration. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.